Hi Virgo, welcome to your January 2018 love reading. It's Rena here. So as you can see, I've already laid out the cards. I think this is my third attempt to uh, get out this video. And uh, what I, I've, I've really got, haven't gotten that far, so that's a good thing. Um, the heart of the matter is the Page of Pentacles, which is a card connecting to some sort of message or some sort of new relationship with an earth sign, an earthy person. Sometimes it's not literally that it's a, an earth sign like a Virgo, like you, or a Taurus, or a Capricorn, but they have a lot of earth. So even if they're a fire sign, they're kind of like uh, down to earth, laid back, and yet practical too. Now, this can also be a message that you have received. Uh, in December, we did have a Mercury retrograde where you may have come in contact again with somebody from your past. And you're kind of pondering this. Should I get back together? This person um, could be an ex for a reason. They usually are, aren't they? Um, in some cases, it could be somebody who is overseas for contract work or the military. And so you're, this is the only way you can communicate with them is through internet and things like that. But I have here, it makes me think that for some of you, there was some kind of a playboy type of person. This could be a male, uh, chronologically, they could be under the age of 40. However, um, the knight could refer to their maturity level. So they may be, you know, a man over 40 who still has this mindset of when he was in his college days or something like that, where he's just, he, he wants to do his own thing. He doesn't want to have to answer to anybody. And he doesn't necessarily want to settle down with one person. And that might have been why you broke up, <laughs> because he wouldn't commit. Or, or I should say, and he was seeing other people because this could be that kind of a, a situation. It is connected with Sagittarius, which I would bet a lot of you, or at least some of you, may feel like, oh yeah, I was with this person because Sa Sagittarius and Virgo are both mutable signs in astrology, and they form a, a tense angle, but time and time again, I see people that um, square off with another sign and they're together as a romantic couple. So maybe sexual attraction uh, brings the two people together, but they their their personalities are very different. And that tends to, to produce a lot of irritation. But the other fire signs, and I actually associate this card with Aries. So that could possibly be it. And Leo's the other fire sign. But that, that might have been a bone of contention between the two of you. And and you, but again, some people, when they're separated from somebody, they start to uh, feel this sense of um, nostalgia or they, they you know, rev revise history and act like, oh yeah, I was overreacting, you know, this person's really the person for me. Now, I do want to say one thing. When you have pentacles, this could also be that this is some kind of physical relationship. Like it's, it's a sexual relationship, but it's not a romantic relationship. And either you're hoping it will become that, or you are deluded to think that it is. Uh, and this card kind of goes along with that because this is the Ten of Wands. This is like somebody who is taking on a burden, trying to make something, you know, working very hard at something. So it does make me think that you are, some of you, this is not an ex, this is a, a current relationship, but it's somebody who is, it's a one-dimensional relationship. And you're trying to make it like this big love affair that it really isn't. And if that's the case, um, I 
it's not, I'm not saying it in a blunt way to try to make you feel foolish, but to kind of um, talk some sense into you because if you really are in love with this person, you may be irrational. You may only see what you want to see. And in the meantime, it could be leading to a lot of um, time wasted and, um, and, and heartache, you know, eventually. But um, we'll see. Because sometimes it depends on the individual. This is such a general reading. The, <clears throat> the higher message, the spiritual message is about the eight of wands. And so it could be telling you to, to be prepared because something could be coming in. Uh, some developments that are kind of almost beyond your control. We do have a lunar eclipse on January 31st in Leo, which happens to be for you. Oh, that's interesting. That's your 12th house. So that's kind of like a karmic uh, situation, Virgo. That's going to be interesting for Virgos to see how the lunar eclipse affects you in the 12th house. That kind of push you out of, I was going to say out of your comfort zone, but it could be that it just, you know, if you refuse to take action on this situation, the universe will do it for you. And they may expose secrets about what's really happening. The 12th house is all about secrets. You could have like this big revelation and then you are doing things very quickly. You're realizing after the fact that, um, you thought something was one way and it turned out to be another way. For people who um, have been in a situation where you are in love with somebody who is overseas or they, um, what would you call it? Uh, they, um, you know, they're, they're uh, doing some kind of work, like a contract, contract work and you haven't seen them in a long time, you may be working very hard to try to um, either be able to join them or for them uh, to, to be able to, to keep that relationship going. Maybe you're afraid that they're going to meet somebody as, you know, wherever they are. And so you are trying, maybe trying too hard. This card could indicate that things start to move. And who knows, maybe you will be able to visit them uh, what have you, and and kind of reignite that relationship, or at least uh, preserve it. Remember that any relationship where both people are committed, it cannot be um, impacted by a third party. It doesn't, even if people are being, you know, having someone throw themselves at them, they're not interested. So in one sense, you could say, if you really are secure in that person's love, you have nothing to worry about. But if, you, if it's a new relationship and you feel like you haven't cemented that, that kind of commitment from that person, then you may want to visit them to keep the flames going. And you may get word just at the last minute that things have gone through. What crosses you is represented by the Six of Cups. And when, as soon as I picked this card, I thought of Twin Flames because... Um, this is a, the card of soulmates, but uh, twin flames are a very popular theme. And uh, I would like to really delve deep into that to kind of get more clarification on the difference between soulmates and twin flames, how this plays into actually having a healthy relationship with somebody, because there is too much that I've read so far that suggests that twin flame relationships are very uh, tumultuous. And yet people seem to really gravitate towards this idea of twin flame, almost it seems more nowadays than soulmates. And I wonder if it's because there are more challenging love relationships these days and people have kind of given up on having a harmonious relationship and because their relationship is full of so many ups and downs. They want it to be special and therefore a twin flame relationship. Um, so I'm reading this as a challenge card. And um, 
the thing I would say about it is to look at how you're viewing this relationship. And if you're, you know, if it, you really want Virgo, someone that can give you a sense of value added to your life, will this person provide it or will this person provide just drama and distraction? And sometimes distraction can be helpful if somebody's going through a lot of pain. So it's like, you know, if you're going through the pain of one thing and you have like this nuisance, then maybe that can help. But I'm talking about overall, if you really want that healthy relationship with Virgo, you want a, a partner. It's almost like a business partner. And I know that sounds unromantic, but the typical Virgo person is much more interested in a person that they can be productive with than having, you know, flowers and all that stuff. That's not really the core of a Virgo personality. Obviously, you're not just your sun sign. And, and you might have, you know, Leo. Leo is right next to you, and that's very romantic. So, um, but looking at it just from that point of view, I would say if this person is chaotic, if, if you feel like you're, you're always having to be, you know, um, assume responsibility for their mess ups, um, that could also be where it's almost like a parent-child relationship and they're very irresponsible and you're the adult in the room, that kind of thing. That is not a, a, a relationship of equals. And so that kind of thing just ultimately will lead to exasperation. With the, the Six of Cups, um, there could also be like a person who is a Cancer who... Um, you are estranged from. Now, in some cases, it may be a good thing, but in other cases, um, this person was really your, the, the person that you were meant to be with, and maybe you did not value them at the time. Maybe they were too dependable, and you went after the, the, the bright, shiny object, which is that Knight of Wands. And... Um, I, I'm going to tell you why I think that th that might be the case for some of you in a minute. The advisor was coming in, connected to the King of Pentacles. I had mentioned that Page of Pentacles. You may hear a message from somebody who is a mature earth sign. And this person, again, is much more compatible with you. Will maybe not be as exciting, but definitely will be more dependable, more um, more of a, a long-term prospect, and add stabilizing influence to your life. This could also be a facet of you, that you are becoming the highest expression of yourself. And um, I do get some career stuff in with this, so this may be a work-related situation. The King of Pentacles could be your boss um, <laughs> in some cases. But um, a business owner. And then I get for the outcome the Two of Cups. Reuniting with somebody. Uh, a commitment to somebody. Could it be that Knight of Wands individual? I don't know, but I feel that with the Ten of Wands, that person is more of a burden on you. So I am wondering if you're going to hear from someone from your past that you have wanted to get back together, the one that got away, and get back together with them. And, um, you know, I it's funny, I got this card for Aries, I think it was last month, and I said reunited and it feels so good. And it could be the <laughs> it could be the same with you. I might I might have to call it that. <laughs> um, but this is love, you know, because we're talking about cups here. 
And so it's like the sense of really understanding what love means and committing to that. Regardless of what sign they are, regardless if there's somebody who has, um, who's an affluent person, that's not why you're with them. You're not attracted to them because, uh, you know, of sex appeal or because they have a lot of money. It's because you're in love with them. And that's, it feels really right. When you, when you really are connecting with somebody at that soul level, you know it. And there's no question about it. Um, you, usually I, I would say, and obviously this is just my opinion that when you're kind of on the fence and when you're deciding between two people, it's possible that neither person is really grabbing you at that level. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, and yet this person is somebody that you feel like you can spend the rest of your life with. So that is really wonderful, Virgo. And um, I hope that that happens for you. If you'd like a private reading where I'm looking at your natal chart, which is kind of personalized for you, and looking at the different houses and things of that nature, please uh, click on the link below. Otherwise, have a great month. Bye.